pickups video uh, this obviously isn't gonna match uh, what I got um, with that Castlevania lot but I got a lot of stuff for cheap that I should be able to uh, make some money on and, and whatever else and continue selling things off and uh, saving the house and uh, everything else so but and growing my collection as well well the collection I'm actually keeping um, anyway this guy had um, flea market. This is mostly flea market stuff. I, I actually a thrift store too, but um, came across this guy that's always selling video games. He's one of the video game sellers at the flea market, but usually he's pretty overpriced or at least retail. And um, you know, you kind of go to a flea market to get better deals than retail. So, um, but he had this dollar table. He was just trying to get rid of inventory. He said usually he tries to towards the end of the year, but. Uh, he started to do it now, so picked up a couple things. Um, these slap shot uh, figures, they're McFarland figures. These are from the, the movie. Um, uh, the Hanson brothers, obviously. Uh, it would have been cool if he had all three, so I could sell them as a set, but he only had two of them. So uh, it looks like they go for about 15 to 25 bucks each. If they had the whole set, it would be even better, but. Um, only had two of them, so also came across this on his thing. I don't know if this is a resealed or not, but um, it's from Blockbuster, so it might be resealed. But even if I think even uh, previously viewed, it might be worth something. Um, definitely more than a dollar. But Halloween trilogy, it's a Blockbuster exclusive. I guess they didn't release it anywhere else. Uh, this case, maybe. So it has Halloween one, two, and three in it. It's VHS. But um, it was selling new for about 25 bucks on eBay. So that's cool for a buck. Um, what else did I get from him? I didn't even look this up, so I don't know what it's worth. But uh, it's not playing, but it probably needs a battery. Uh, Batman Dark Knight. Uh, it's one of these um, the Zizzle ones. So these are more recent. I think this is 2008, 2009, 2008. So it's not. Um, oh my god, I'm forgetting the, the other handheld gaming systems uh the tiger electronics which are usually more expensive than these but again for a buck i picked it up um i picked up these two i mean saturn games for a dollar even if the cases are messed up and whatever i'll pick them up uh resurrection rise 2 uh it's missing the manual it just has like the front cover and it's ripped off but the disc is there and the rest of the case and everything so and uh, this one's complete, Soviet Strike. Uh, again, for a buck, I'll pick up a Saturn game all day. Uh, I think that was it for him. So I picked up these other two. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that is it from him. I don't know what the hell these things are. Um, these are really old, though. These little handheld things, Funtronics, uh, Jax, and... Uh, Red light, green light. I think they were like 10, 15 bucks a piece uh, online. So they're missing the battery covers. So I don't even know if they work, but I got them for two bucks together. So, and then he went to sell an Atari with like, I don't know, 10 games for 80 bucks. So I don't know what that guy was thinking. But, um, and then I picked up this thing Batman Villains. Uh, I think this is super cool. It's sealed. Um, Two bucks. I think is the most expensive thing I bought at the flea market this week weekend. So, uh, and to continue the dollar theme, um, I forgot I picked up this lot. So, uh, 
Yeah, I forgot I picked up this lot. This was off of uh, Facebook. Facebook Marketplace. Um, the lady originally wanted 45 bucks for, I think they were 45 PS1 games. Oh, PS2 games. Um, some interesting stuff, some junk. So she said somebody was picking it up, and if not, then she'll figure out a price with me. Because I was like, I don't want all 45 of them. I want some of them. So if you break it up, then whatever. And then I was like, how much are they? Are they a dollar a piece? She's like, no, probably a little more. I'm like, here we go. But um, she was moving later this week. So she got back to me, and she's like, uh, you know what? I'll just sell them to you a dollar a piece, whichever ones you want. So I took that offer. Um, I picked up 15 games, I think. So... Kingdom Hearts, they're all complete too and in pretty good shape. Uh, slide 3, Harry Potter Quidditch. I picked up a bunch of Harry Potters. I know one or two of them are, are worth something, so I figure for a dollar, the Goblet of Fire. Um, even if I don't pick up the other one, I think they're all like five, six bucks at least. So, Chamber of Secrets, Star Wars Battlefront 2, it's always a nice one to pick up. Uh, another Kingdom Hearts. Uh, that's the second one. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Sonic Heroes. Tie 3. This is like a $12 to $15 game, I think. Uh, Spiral into the Dragon, I think, is a decent one. Crash Nitro Racing. Uh, Tack 2. I think that was just to make it 15 uh, This one, too. Next tune night, which I thought would be worth something, but it's worth like five bucks. Uh, and then SpongeBob, I think this is like a ten dollar game too, for some reason. So uh, those were all a dollar, like I said. Um, I will show you this pickup from uh, that place I got Castlevania last week. Um, I don't know, they're starting to price games a little cheaper for whatever reason, so, which is good. Um, but, uh, they still had, uh, Lemmings there for, like, twenty eight ninety nine. That's gonna sit there forever, but, anyway, uh, these games were actually half off, too, so this is a great deal, I think. I basically got these games for a buck, too. Um, Tony Hawk, Downhill Jam, so... It was listed at $1.99, uh, half off, that's $0.99 cents or a dollar. Um, this was the most expensive one. Lego Star Wars Complete, uh, $3.99, so that was $2. Bucks. Um, Shrek Castle at the Castle, that was $1.99, so that was a uh, dollar off. Sundays they have three colors off, so the only color that wasn't was yellow which had a DS light for 15 bucks, but it was yellow supposedly. It looked kind of orange, but whatever. Uh, that's $1.99 SpongeBob. Um, so that was a buck. Hot Wheels Extreme, that's a buck. Stuart Little, that's a buck. Scooby-Doo, that's a buck. And Spider-Man 2, which I thought I had the box for, but I have Spider-Man 1 box, so. I thought I kind of completed it, but for a dollar, I'll take it anyway. Um, then this was either a Facebook sale or let go. I'm not sure. One of the two. So, they had a stack of sports games uh, like this. Xbox 360. Now, if you look, there's probably only one game that's actually worth anything in this whole pile. And if you know pricing on certain stuff, it's near the top. So, NCAA football. 14. It's the last uh, NCAA football game that they made. Because uh, they had issues with likenesses and paying students and not paying and whatever else. So, uh, that's the last one. So... She wanted 10 bucks for all of them. I said, okay, I'll come pick it up next day. So I'm on the way. I go, uh, I pick them up. Oh, actually, I'm at the door. 
Uh, I knock or ring the doorbell. Uh, the husband comes out. I was dealing with the wife on this whole deal. Um, hands me a stack of games. Now it was supposed to be 13 games. He hands me a stack of 12 games. I didn't look right away. I walked away a couple steps. I counted them first. I said there's only 12 and then obviously I noticed one was missing. And guess which one was missing? NCAA football. So I ring the doorbell again. The husband comes to the door. Oh, uh, what's going on? I was like, oh, there's a there's a game missing. I was supposed to be 13, and I only have 12 here. So uh, there's a football game. So then the lady comes around from the corner, holds it up, and is like, oh, you told me to take this to GameStop and get $10 for it. And the husband kind of looks at me, and I'm looking at him like, what? Why would I tell her to go to GameStop and get 10 bucks for it? when I said I wanted all the games. And this is the only one that's, I'm not gonna tell her that, but this is the only one that has the value of anything. So I'm like, no, I didn't tell her that. So the husband just turns around, grabs the game, gives it to me and is like, have a good day. I'm like, yeah. So uh, obviously the lady tried to screw me. And it was, you know, honestly, what I think, and I was talking to a couple of people about this, it was probably somebody else that lost out on the deal, got pissed and then told her, you know, you have a valuable game in there, so why don't you try to sell that to GameStop and then sell him the rest? So I'm like, really? So, uh, so ridiculous how scammy and, and crappy people are in my area, but it's New York. So I guess that's how you deal with people. So, um, so anyway, this is like a $40 game. Um, I don't know how much it trades into GameStop, but I don't think they're going to give me 40. So I'll just sell it online. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Probably throw them in, in trash. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll do some Bithead 1000 and uh, start drilling them or something. I don't know. So that those are crap. So uh, that was my my weekend. Uh, a lot of dollar pickups. Um, but I spent, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks. No, 15 I spent probably like 40 bucks. I should make triple that, at least. I'll cover the whole thing with this, and then everything else is profit. So, but you know, nothing fantastic for last week, but money makers. So why not, right? Especially when that's what I'm needing to do right now. So, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and. Uh, Hit the bell too because I think that's the only way you know when new videos come out now instead of subscribing. Uh, and that's it. Rob is out.